Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisdale. I'm a part-time reseller and in today's video we're going to go over what has sold for me in the past seven days. So those dates are looking like March 13th through the 19th. Um, and as you can see, I'm just now starting to do YouTube videos again and really just social media, I guess, in general. And it's a weird time to start doing that because it just so happens that sales aren't that great lately. <laughs> Um, this past week, I sold 12 items total, six on eBay and six on Poshmark. Um, those are the two main platforms I sell on. I will sell sometimes on Macari. It's just not a preferred platform for me. It's extra work for, for me, it's not worth the return. But without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so to kick off the week on Monday the 13th, it wasn't too bad of a start. I sold three items, two from eBay and one from Poshmark. Um, the first item was this Chico's turquoise necklace. Pretty simple necklace. It was used. I bought it in a lot of jewelry that I was kind of experimenting with. Jewelry is something that I would like to get more into just because it's very easy to store and to ship. So I want to learn more about that and just keep expanding my knowledge on things. And then the second item that I sold on Poshmark was this pair of Nike Zoom Pegasus shoes. Um, these two sold decently fast for me in about 68 days. Uh, I bought them for $8.70 and they sold for $48.44. So not too bad of a return for a little over two months. And then the only item I sold from Poshmark is this pair of frame denim jeans. They're the La Slim Street Northampton um, skinny jeans. They were a smaller size. I believe they were a size 23. And frame just doesn't sell the way it used to. So I offloaded this one for pretty cheap. It only sold for $20. And I did pay $13.46 for them, which is not a great profit. But again, I just wanted to kind of get them off, especially it being a smaller size. Um, and they took a whole 317 days to sell. So not the best flip, but glad to see them go. All right, then Tuesday, March 14th, we had two items that sold. Uh, both were on Poshmark. I had zero eBay sales, which is sad. But the two items that sold on Poshmark, uh, the first one is a Free People um, joggers. They were called the, the, Billy, the Billy Pants. Um, they were kind of like a jogger, loose, almost a Harlem style. Um, these sold relatively fast, uh, about six days. So that was pretty surprising for me. As I'm sure many of you know, um, Free People doesn't sell quite the way it used to, but I think if you have it at the right price, it can sell pretty fast still. So these I bought for $3.26 um, and they sold for $39. So for me, that's almost an ideal flip. I would like my ASP to be a little bit higher, but for $3.26 and selling in you know six days, you can't beat it. The next item that sold was this Notori, um, like a chenille robe. Um, Notori is a really good item, a really good brand, but you have to be careful with the pieces. I've had some Notori pieces for a long time. I think I have right now listed. It's like a, a beach cover-up, just a black beach cover-up. I've had it forever and it still hasn't sold. However, this robe I had for nine days and it sold. For this robe, I paid $5.44 and it sold for $35. Again, not a bad return. And then Wednesday, March 17th, I made zero sales so not great i don't know about the rest of you but past month or two i've had multiple days where i've made zero sales and that's not very normal for me i usually make at least one sale um so i am looking at my business and seeing what i can do i have started trying to do more markdowns so especially on items that i've had for over a year i really want to look at them and make sure that they make sense to keep Right, they may not be sought after anymore and I just need to get rid of them and make room for better inventory. So if you guys are having the same issues, I know there's only so much you can control with, you know, the way the economy is going, the way, you know, what eBay and Poshmark and these other platforms are doing. But I do advise you to just look at your business and see what you can do to improve on your side. And for Thursday, March 16th, it was kind of a reverse of what I saw on Tuesday with, um, Poshmark sales. I had zero Poshmark sales for Thursday and three eBay sales. The first item I sold was these Agent Provateur. I'll put the name up here too. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, it's a kind of luxury um, intimate line. 
They are just these fishnet stockings and they're called the Apollo Holdup. I paid $8.50 for them. They are brand new and they sold for $35.64. And also a side note for like 90-95% 90, 90, of my eBay sales, um, I always charge for shipping. So I just do calculated shipping for most of them. There's some every now and then I will do free shipping, but for the most part, these are including the shipping that they paid. And the next two items are two items that I've had forever. Um, one of them I probably should have just gotten rid of, but I didn't. And it's sold anyways, but it is these Nike um, Air Zoom golf shoes. Uh, I think they were a size five, which may have been one of the reasons they didn't sell. But I also think this is one of the items that not long after listing it, someone sent an offer that I just didn't like and I didn't, I didn't accept it, but you know, it sold in 701 days. So uh, a couple years, I probably should have just taken that first offer. Not to mention I paid $26.93 for these shoes. Um, and they only sold for $40.05, so I got a whole 52 cents of profit. Not a great flip, but glad to see it go. These are kind of ones you live and you learn. I think I actually got these at like Ross or TJ Maxx or something when I was trying to do more of like a retail arbitrage, and this was just obviously not a great item to try. And if you're wondering why I keep kind of looking over here, it's because I have my, my computer so I can read off the numbers, um, so don't mind that. And then the last item for March 16th is this Bob Hope bobblehead. Um, I've actually had it for 524 days, uh, but it did sell for $99.84 and I only paid $2.14 for it. Um, I did have it marked up a lot higher. I can't remember the price, but it was well over $100 um, and it just didn't sell. So I kept marking it down. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to mark down older inventory just to get it out. So, you know, $99 isn't too bad. All right, and then on Friday, March 17th was another zero sale day. Um, not sure what was going on, but didn't sell a single item. So moving on to Saturday, March 18th, I did have three sales. Two of them were on Poshmark and one was on eBay. The only item that I sold on eBay was actually a door handle. Um, I bought about 12 of these uh, 229 days ago and slowly have been selling through them. This was the very last one and it sold for $40. I only paid about $4.96 a piece for each of them. So not too bad, uh, very easy to list, very easy to ship. Kind of my favorite types of sales. The first item from Poshmark that I sold is this Misfits gray skull dress. Um, I actually regretted buying this um, because uh, I remember whenever I was younger, the style or this Misfits brand used to be very popular um, from what I remember and so I thought it was a, a really good find. I swear when I looked up comps they looked decent but then when I got home and started listing it I was like why did you why did you pick this up? Does that ever happen to you? Where you look it up at the store and you see comps and then you get home and those aren't the same comps? Anyways um, it sold in 15 days so it did only sell for $29. I paid $4.85 for it so not too bad of a flip. Um, I don't know if I'll pick it up again. I think I got lucky with this one, but who knows. And the last item on the 18th is this Teal Sherpa um, Universal Threads. It's a Target jacket. Uh, it's kind of puffer, very soft um, Sherpa on the collar and a really pretty teal color. It sold for $20, but I did pay $10.34 for it and it took 395 days to sell. So wasn't the greatest pickup. Um, that kind of seems to be the theme lately. Uh, maybe because I've been marking down a lot of my older inventory, that's what's selling. I'm glad to have the money to be able to put it into inventory that I know is gonna sell better now. A lot of these items I bought whenever I was just starting or I was experimenting. And so I've definitely gained knowledge over the past couple years and I'm happy to see some of this older inventory go. And then on the last day, March 19th, I only had one sale and it was on Poshmark. And again, it was another item that I've had forever. Um, I've had it for 381 days. It's this Lucky Brand Tomboy Trucker denim jacket. Very classic jacket. I even thought about keeping it myself, but decided to sell it. And it's been listed for over a year. Um, I did pick it up for $9.12 and it sold for $42. So not a terrible flip. I feel like I overpaid a little bit, 
um, and I definitely thought it was going to sell for a lot faster just because it is a classic denim jacket. Um, and you know, lucky brand jeans, I don't generally pick up, but I figured a denim jacket would do better. Anywho, glad to see it go. All right. So to wrap up the week, I again had 12 sales, um, for a total of $469 and 82 cents in total sales. And after you take out the fees and the cost and everything, my total profit is $247.44. So not very good. That's kind of what I hope to make a day. So I am hoping that next week things start to improve. Again, I'm looking at my own business and trying to see what I can do to improve. I'm trying to clear out old inventory so I can make room for newer and better inventory. And then also just Kind of staying active and consistent with listing. I know that's not the biggest thing to do, especially you just want to make sure you're listing quality items, right? If you're just listing to be listing, that's not going to help anything. So that's why I want to clear out my old inventory and make room for these newer pieces and start being more consistent with listing. And as I've mentioned before, I also want to start focusing a little bit more on hard goods. For me, I feel like they're more of an easy list right the pictures tend to be easier the storing especially if it's not a large item tend to be easier um, shipping can be a little bit more tedious depending on the item i also feel like i don't get returns on those items i think i've had like one return in the last year on an item that wasn't clothing um, again that could be skewed just because the majority of what i sell is clothing so of course i'm going to have more returns there but it's just kind of something I want to try out and see how it goes. So let me know what you guys are doing. Are you guys doing anything to kind of pivot your business? Are you guys seeing sales pick up, slow down? Are they staying about consistent with you? I've definitely heard many different things across, you know, the spectrum within the reselling world. So I'd love to hear how things are going for you. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like it, please subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic week coming up and have tons of sales or just success in whatever you're trying to do. But until then, I'll see you next week.